Guys, MotorX coming up at Melbourne Showgrounds, May 6 and 7, Show Car Hall of Fame. We're here with Kylie Perry and Tailspin, which is going to be appearing in Melbourne. Yeah, How looking good. forward to having the car back there. It's going to be awesome. You and so many other great car builders all there with these legendary cars. There's, <laughs> I think when people walk into this hall, the Show Car Hall of Fame, it's going to be mind's blown. There's some of the, 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 the people we've spoken to already uh, who have inspired a lot of the other cars. It's like a bit of a trail around the hall, you know? Starting off, you could say, with Les Laurie's 1930 car, going around the Ford Victoria, then that inspired a whole bunch of other builds and stuff like that. And no doubt, you know, we've all been reading magazines since we were a kid, and you've been inspired, no doubt, by magazines and cars such as. Definitely. Look, uh, I think the Hall of Fame is going to be a great thing to, to see. And personally, I think it's an honor just to even be in that hall with the likes of those um, cars that you've just mentioned. It, yeah. it really will be iconic to see the cars of different different eras, really, and, and what they've all brought to the event. Yeah, and so first year 2016 in Melbourne yeah. appeared, and then 2017 in Sydney, Grandmaster winner. Yeah, yeah, it What's was- What's your memories of? Oh, uh, look, for us, just being at MotorX um, as the pinnacle show car event uh, was, it was a dream come true. Yeah. To, to take out the Grand Master at the 2017 MotorX event in Sydney yeah. was unbelievable. Um, certainly something that we're very, very proud of. I remember you saying off camera just before that, to get a jacket like that, you know, and to be a part of the event, then win Grand Master, it's just like one, you know, achievement topping the other. Yeah, the jacket was enough when we originally set out to build the car. Um, Grand Master Trophy is, is an incredible uh, feat on top of that. Tell us about what the car's been, you know, doing in the last six, seven years since its appearance and th then win the year after it. Yeah, look, we've we've done some local shows. We've gone to Old Holden Day, some local car club shows, um, just sort of getting it out and about a bit. We went to South Coast Nationals and, and drove it in and out of the event there, which yeah. most people were kind of shocked to see <laughs> um, a car like this actually on the road. It's not, but it's not often you see an elite car cruising along the road. No. I tell you what, when you pull up at the traffic lights, you get some <laughs> funny looks from people. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, really, really been about uh, enjoying it. Not so much in the last few years with obviously COVID restricting yeah, yeah. a whole lot of events, but um, really, it, why I'm really, really keen to get it back out at MotorX. It'll be nice to see some people again. The break though means that the car hasn't been out, which means it's still looking pristine as ever. I say, been saying this for a few days now on our little road trip that we've been going around that for some reason, all the cars look, everything looks better. Like they've just, settled in or something you know, like a know. fine wine right yeah. they get better with age something, yeah look um for me I've, I've still yet to fully detail it i've, yeah. I've started i've pulled the exhaust off <laughs> and <laughs> repolished the exhaust and starting on yeah. wheels i'll give the uh, exterior a polish next week but i agree i i think coming back to it with a fresh set of eyes after a period of time off yeah. it's it's given me a newfound appreciation for the car and i'm really looking forward to it yeah i mean melbourne's not a huge trip for you guys like compared to some of the other stuff but the stress of, I was going to ask, I've asked this to a lot of people, is the preparation of going to the event, figure out the car side of it, the stand, the, the, all the stuff you need to polish the car and look after a car on site, which is a, yeah. big, a big job over the few days. Yeah. Um, how's that preparation been going? Look, um, I'm glad it's not being judged because I think I would have <laughs> needed an extra few months if it was, but uh, look, the prep's going yeah. really well. I, I have only sort of started recently, but thankfully for me, the, the paint hasn't needed a, a, whole, a whole lot of work. It yeah. really just needs a damn good clean. Yeah. Um, so apart from pulling the exhaust off and repolishing all of that, so it's no longer gold, uh, signs of obviously the heat from driving it, yeah. but, um, but the prep's going really well. I'll, I'll have a look at the display. It'll be displayed on its full display like wow. we did when it won Grand Master, yep. so everybody can have a look at, at how it was back when it won. Tailspin, not a lot of people who are watching this video might not know about Tailspin or about the running gear and what it, how it came to be. Give us a bit of a lowdown on, you know, some of the running combo and the, and the combinations of what it took to bring this expression session car, I guess you could call it, together. Yeah, well, it is. It's a one of a kind. So um, you've hit the nail on the head. It was uh, a concept from Street Machine Magazine, Expression Session. Uh, it is a backwards uh, 1960 FB Holden with an R33 Skyline roof. So that's 
the custom exterior that you can see. Yep. Uh, it's fully engineered for, for street use as an FB Holden. Uh, and as such, we kept the Holden drivetrain. So for us, it's a 308 block, but with VN injected heads, uh, that got us around some emissions and, and engineering uh, requirements that we yeah, needed, yeah. as well as the Turbo 700 and, and, um, and Holden diff. So yeah, Holden drivetrain, um, Holden at heart, but wildly modified to get it uh, to what it is today. And you're saying driving, it's actually beautiful to drive, like, you know, it drives really, yeah. It's perfect. really comfortable yeah. to drive. It sits on the road nicely, um, one arm hanging on the door, <laughs> you know, it's, it's how it was built um, and it's exactly what I love doing with it. The outside of the car, obviously spectacular, but the underneath is, <laughs> is, is, a, is, a, is, a, is a complete other world. Yeah, yeah, yeah look, I, um, I do love the underbody. It's yeah. uh, gold being the outside of the um, car, but what we did was drivetrain red and suspension green. So when you actually look under the different components of the car are all themed that way. And I, I spent uh, the last couple <laughs> of days under here and I still enjoy looking underneath it. And, and some pin striping I noticed too, like separating some of the parts and things yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, there's pin striping to separate the different colors as I mentioned yep. for those yep. components. There's tailspin airbrushed underneath it as well. Um, everywhere you look you should find some more detail that you might not have seen before. Do you think that when you're building a car like this underneath is just as much effort as the outside like to get it to this level? Anyway? If Motor X is your goal for yeah. sure it's yeah. it's the final 10% it's all those hard to get places um, yeah. all of those details that really separate the, the top superstars. The planning for that too I guess you know um, how would there help you know a big help in this build for sure. I know Howard and his planning, it's, you know, it's a lot of planning beforehand and, you know, then executing and stuff. Yeah. Tell us a bit about that. Like. So we actually approached Howard at MotorX yeah. um, with a portfolio of what we wanted to build and we met with him 18 months before we even touched a car. Oh, wow. So there was designs, there was concepts, there was goal setting, budget setting, um, all sorts of planning before we even bought the FBs. Uh, and the skyline to even commence. So yeah, yeah, planning is a big part of it, knowing what you want to achieve and, and how to get there. And that made, does that make execution a lot more easier because you sort of know where you're going? Yeah, we, we all had a common vision um, yeah. and we never failed, like never deterred from that. So it was always going to be Motor X Superstars was what we wanted. Yeah, awesome. guys are busy all the time there must be some other cool stuff going on in the uh in the yeah. show yeah yeah look we're, we're always tinkering with cars for me i um i have my grandfather's 1964 datsun fair lady so it's yep. a little red convertible that i'm working on yep. so uh chassis work at the moment powder coating bits and pieces uh before i start the body later in the year so that's a love project <laughs> uh adam's being kept busy with a 1971 camaro so uh it's the Follow up, same owner as the 69 Camaro that, that we built a few years back. So that's going to be a really exciting car. There'll be lots more coming out about that towards the end of this year. And, um, and following all of that, we've got a, a 57 Chevy Nomad in the, yeah, wow. uh, in the lineup. So yeah, yeah. lots going on. Uh, just got to squeeze it all in. <laughs> Can I ask, the, the, after building this car, the, the, the skills and stuff like that you learn from, you know, I heard Adam off camera for saying 14,000 hours yeah. in a build like this. Like, them skills are invaluable, right? Like to be able to... Oh, yeah. for sure, for sure. I mean, it was an apprenticeship for us, basically working yeah. under Howard Astle, yeah. um, building this car has learnt, well, we've learnt so much. It has taught us so yeah. much that we can now take on projects and, and work at building other cars for, for ourselves and for other people. So uh, it's this car is, has really changed changed our opportunities and, and, and our direction and what we can do and it's been uh, a once in a lifetime. Well guys, MotorX coming up May 6 and 7, Melbourne Showgrounds. You can see Tailspin there in the Show Car Hall of Fame, plus many other cars. Thanks for having us here, Kylie. Really appreciate Thanks your time. I can see here. you're really busy. The wheel's off and you're polishing and doing all this yep. crazy stuff to the car to get it ready for a show to show you guys what it's like and, yeah, many other cars. <laughs>